you are listening to episode 16 of Leaders on Purpose podcast. Hi there, welcome to Leaders on Purpose podcast. This is your host, Manal Bernoussi. I am a multi-passionate mom of twins and a corporate executive in Casablanca, Morocco, living and sharing my personal development journey. In this podcast, we're looking to develop the skills, habits, and mindset to reveal our full potential for a greater purpose. I'll be inviting inspiring people, beautiful souls, Moroccans, Canadians, Americans, Nigerians, and more, people from all backgrounds and different nationalities to inspire us to live our true purpose and create great impact. So join me every other Sunday and let's make this happen. Hey everyone and welcome back to Leaders on Purpose podcast. This is Manel speaking and I'm so, so glad to be back today for the first solo episode of 2022. Since the beginning of this year, I have been blessed to share wonderful conversations with inspiring guests. The last episode with Ismail Dwiri just broke all the records. Go check them out if you missed any. And I have been really missing these solo episodes where I get to do all the reading, all the reflecting, and the researching, which is really amazing for me. And I know some of you have been missing them too. And I'm just going to take a quick second to honor some of you who reached out to me on LinkedIn or Instagram and quickly express my gratitude. So NS says, Happy Ramadan. I just wanted to say a big thank you for all the personal and professional lessons we've learned from your amazing podcast. I am really enjoying every episode, especially the solo ones. Thank you again. Well, thank you, Enes, for being here. Happy Ramadan to you as well. I love that the content is helping you. These solo episodes are really unique opportunities for me as well. I'm trying to understand things more deeply and I get fascinated by that. All the topics that I pick are inspired by the real life situations that I face, the real struggles that you share with me on social media. And I'm really trying to unpack these topics and articulate my thoughts and learnings, make them as clear as possible and spread them around. So today's topic is about spirituality and spiritual growth. As two billion of us around the world are observing Ramadan and fasting for one month, I just felt called to dedicate this episode to exploring the topic of spirituality in a universal and inclusive way. I don't think there is anyone out there that doesn't want to feel more connected, more present and more alive. That is what I call spirituality. So whether you're religious or not, I hope that this episode will help you reconnect to whatever brings you a deeper connection and impulse to live a richer, more fulfilling life to understand why you're really here on earth and to trust and take action, to pay attention to your intuition and most importantly, to act on it. And before I even get started, I just want us all to take a deep breath wherever you are listening to me. Just put both hands on your heart. Unless you're driving, don't do it, then keep your hands on the wheel, please. But if you're not driving, just put both hands on your heart and let's take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Just feeling that pulse for a few seconds. Okay, thank you for that. So I am in that season of life where I'm witnessing more and more spiritual aha moments, whether it's facing the immensity of the sea or witnessing a perfect moment of synchronicity or feeling deep inside that I'm part of something bigger than myself. I'm trying to walk that walk and live my own truth. 
I am certainly not here to tell you what to believe in or not. I do not subscribe to that. I believe you gotta figure out what you believe in and live it. Awakening to life is not a one-time event. It's a lifelong journey, a continuously unfolding reality. And when we witness a perfect moment of stillness and oneness, we spend our life looking for that experience again. The journey of faith is not a race. Each person walks it at a different pace. Now, however, I do believe there is a beauty in having seasons in life. Just like there are seasons in one year, I see a lot of benefits in having parts of our year focusing on improving different areas of our life. I believe it's good for us to schedule in some time to work intentionally on our spirituality, a little bit more than we usually do. That's what the holy month of Ramadan is for many of us. In its essence, it's a state of self-purification, abstaining from food, drinking, smoking, and other physical needs from dawn to sundown. It's about mastery over the self. It is strength training for the soul. When we can no longer numb our pain in food or other outer forms, our addictions reveal themselves, giving us the awareness needed to break free from them. We are then forced to search for the root of our longing and redirect our focus toward spiritual awakening. As I said in many of my previous episodes, I commit to being a lifelong learner. I think an extraordinary life comes from a lifelong learning mindset and a true commitment to focus on constant improvement in different areas of life. The two life-defining seminars I did with Tony Robbins focused on seven areas of life, and I'm going to share those with you. One, the physical body. Two, emotions. Three, relationships. Four, time. Five, your work and career. Six, your finances. And seven, contribution or spiritual growth. I think there is nothing more fulfilling than growing in each one of these dimensions and striving to express your fullest potential while you're here. I'll reference for you a link to Tony Robbins' Wheel of Life Assessment if you want to see where you're at on each level and create a plan to bridge that gap for yourself. While all these seven areas of life are important, there is a hierarchy that creates peak performance and fulfillment. For example, if you don't master your body, which is your capacity to maximize your health, energy, and vitality, then all the money, career, success, or contribution in the world will be worthless. You cannot experience an extraordinary quality of life without the vehicle that's going to help you create it. Or if you spend your time trying to solve all your relationship problems, but you haven't even mastered your emotions, it's a recipe for disaster. And spirituality is at the top of that pyramid, just as it is also at the top of Maslow's famous theory of human needs. And this is not to say that a person can't work on their finances and transform their body at the same time, or that you can't grow your spirituality while you're working on your career. Rather, what this pyramid shows is the importance and hierarchy of the core areas of life that are necessary to create a magnificent experience of life. So what does spirituality mean to you? Is it seeking for inner peace? Is it searching how to fill that inner emptiness? Let me share with you some definitions that deeply resonated with me. Oprah once said, spirituality is recognizing that I am connected to the energy of all creation, 
that I am part of it and it is always a part of me. Spirituality is about being connected to one another and being connected to the cosmos. It is the process of being healed, forgiven, empowered to go into the world and be fully alive. And the key to that, the doorway to that, is having the experience to be fully and unconditionally loved by the divine. Another one is that spirituality is that instinct. There is that instinct inside each one of us that there is more to life than what meets the eye. It's the fearlessness to ask the big questions. Who am I? What's my purpose in life? Where do we go when we die? And how do we live a fully alive, meaningful and generous life while we're here? Whatever you believe in or not, we are spiritual beings. We are not human beings living a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings living a human experience. And we come from whatever you want to call it. I call it God, Allah, some call it the source of love, universal energy. I think God doesn't get hung up on the titles. It's the people that get hung up on the titles. But when you come to realize that you are more than your body, that your purpose is greater than your profession or your career, that every life, just because you were born, you have a right to be here. And there's a calling on your life. It means you can live your life with no fear and you know that no matter what happens, no matter what happens, you are going to be all right. You are going to be okay. It's the deep, unshakable faith that something, someone big and loving has your back no matter what. That's what spirituality means to me. Regardless of the path we choose to walk, I believe that wisdom teachings from all faiths, all of them, can enrich our relationship with the divine, the universe, God, or whatever you choose to call the supreme source, who has infinite names, but only one essence. Sometimes the words can get in the way of what the true essence is. I think we're all having some sort of spiritual awakening right now, with the transition going on in the world, as individuals, but also as a collective. Things might start to feel shallow, or all of a sudden you want to chew your leg to get out of the trap you feel your life is, or get out of that job or that situation. You start to look at your own negative habits and start to think, this is not who I am anymore. These are all signs that your inner world is trying to express something. Just notice that and see it as a catalyst. A lot of ways to encourage spiritual awakening or soul searching and soul seeking and become more connected with it is finding like-minded people. Reading, finding a podcast, meditating, spending time outside, reconnecting with nature, laughing, dancing, raising your vibration, connecting with your community, volunteering, and practicing gratitude. And one that we don't mention a lot is slowing down. Really just slow down and be present. And for me, that one is hard. And I really have to schedule it in. I literally have to put alert on my phone to stop and go for a walk or plan for retreats. Because we're always trained to just go, go, go. And I really think that at the end of the tunnel, it is realizing that we are just a drop in the ocean. But that drop matters. And if we just help one person or a million people, it doesn't matter. What matters is that we are shining our light. We are trying to be a source of good in this world. 
It doesn't have to be a huge, big, powerful, amazing impact. It can just be helping one person or 10 people or a million people. So as we wrap up, just think about how we're all on this road together. And just recognize that the road and journey during this awakening time, it can often feel confusing and lonely. But as you continue forward and ever onward, you'll soon discover that where you're heading is a beautiful place of truth, authenticity and purpose. If we're all vibrating at our own frequencies, yet all connected by one universal energy, then by the law of resonance, when one of us elevates our consciousness, we all move forward to higher states of awareness. So as you wake up and turn your light on, the whole world gets brighter. So keep waking up, keep being the light, and keep sharing your light. So that's what I've got for you for today's episode. If you love this episode, please share on your stories and tag me. It's Manal Berdusi, M-A-N-A-L-B-E-R-N-O-U-S-S-I. Make it your mission to make someone else's day better. Go check my stories on Instagram to help us close the funding to help a 40 years young widow and her three orphans have a roof over their head. Share this episode with a friend or colleague and make sure you download a podcasting app and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you and I wish you all an amazing day. That is it. Thank you so much for spending your most precious asset with me, which is your time. I am so grateful. If you like what you hear, please take a quick second to hit subscribe, write a review and share with a friend. Spread the love if you think it's something they could benefit from. That will make a huge difference to keep this podcast going. I make it my mission to bring you as much valuable content as possible and absolutely incredible guests. I am back every other Sunday. Thank you so much again for listening and I hope you have an amazing day.